Hey guys, in this video we're going to talk about how to make cloth turning effect in Blender. It is going to be very easy than you think because it's super easy. It's very simple so I thought I'll be sharing this tip with you. Uh, that could help you. It's not going to be a longer video. It's just going to be a short clip of showing you how to do it easily. Just let's get started. Okay, so let's select everything and hit X as we always do. Okay, so by deleting everything in the scene, let's just click Shift A and create a mesh here. It is going to be a plane. Okay, so I'm going to skin it a little bit up. Um, we're going to use it as a cloth. So I'm going to go ahead and click R, Y, and 90 degree. So we're going to rotate it like that. And yeah, that's looking good. Okay, so uh, in the beginning, when you go ahead into physics and you create a cloth, it is going, it's not going to work. <laughs> I know. It's falling. And we need to do some stuff. So first thing that we need to do, is to add some geometry into it because right now it is only one face which means that blender don't know how to how to like deform the object because we don't have any vertex to deform so we need more geometry so if you go into edit mode by heading tab and right click subdivide again and just open up this drop down and set the number of cuts to 50 maybe yeah that's looking that's fine to me just just close it okay so if you go into object mode Hmm, nothing faint. So how to fix it? We want to keep the cloth up here. Like right now, if you, it is going to fall. In order to make it up there, we have an option. So what we need to do, we need to tell Blender that you have to stick into the top. So what I mean by that? If you go into edit mode by hitting tab, and you're going to go select and select all the top vertices. So select the one vertex. I'm going to hit control and left click to select the entire loop cut or you can see the shortcut the shortest spot between the, those two points will be selected by doing so i'm going to do it again so you don't forget you just have to select this one and hit control and left click and select that one okay so now it's time to go ahead into object data well it's not going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial but you can understand what i mean so when you select all those vertices and you come up to vertex group just click plus it means that you have to click assign, which means that you're actually picking up those vertices and assigning it into a group that we can use in cloth physics. How to do it? Let's just move on. Okay. So now we assigned a new group into it, into those vertices. We need to go into object mode and go ahead into physics. Just expand this one and scroll down in the cloth settings. When you scroll down, you will reach the shape here. If you click the shape, you will see it says pin group, which means that we need to pin these vertices that we just selected as a group up there. So we just need to click this one and you can see the name here, group. Just click it. And if you, now everything stays here. We need to move the cloth a little bit because right now it is very static and we don't know if it is working or not. So how to do it? So we're gonna create a wind. Well, Blender has a wind here. So shift A, I'm going to go ahead into force field. I'm going to create wind. It is now directing upward. We need to direct it to the X axis. So I'm going to click R, Y, 90 degree to rotate it on that axis. Just move it a little bit backward here. It's not important, but I just to be having a reference that our force is right here. It is good. So when you click the force here, you will see the physics selected and you will see the strength and flow of the wind. So we don't need, want to change any setting here, but we just need to increase the strength here. For example, right now, it doesn't have that much effect. We need to make it very high to have an effect. So let's make the strength to 1000 and hit enter. Now, as you can see, we made the clock successfully. Is those points that we selected up here are actually pinned there, pinned, I mean, Pinned there, which means that they're actually sticking up there. You know what I mean? So yeah. Oh, it is shit. Just reset the simulation, and it will be fixed. Okay. So now the basic cloth is time to go ahead and tear this thing. So it is really basic stuff. And if you go into edit mode by hitting tab, and you just need to select the edge that you want to destroy. So you just have to change to edge selection here and select the edge that you want to tear the cloth into so i'm gonna go ahead and select this one 
I'm going to come up here and hit control and left click to select the shortest spot between these two edges and come up to mesh here. Scroll down to split here and you got faces by edges. If you click it, it is going to split this these two faces from one another. What I mean by that, if I just move it, as you can see now they have a hole between there and they're not connected anymore. So it is super easy, but like if you click this one, it is connected. But if you click this one, it is not connected at all. That's what we wanted. And if you click here, it's actually not connected. So we actually separated them by doing it. I'm gonna do it again, but right now we're gonna check it. So let's go into object mode and reset the simulation. And as you can see, it is split it into two. That's what we want. For some more stuff, just going to edit mode again. Go into add selection, select whatever you want. I'm going to select this one. Control and F click this one. Maybe that one to here. Maybe this one. Yeah. Just go into mesh, split, or you can also use the shortcut for this is Alt M and just click faces by ages. That's it. Now they are separated from one another. As you can see here, they are separated. Just go into object mode, reset the simulation. And as you can see, it is working. Well, now it's more of them. Just going to add it. And let's just select another one here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select this one maybe. And I'm going to click Alt and M. And it will pop up the split thing here. Just click faces by ages, that's it. And it is split. But we want it now, like they are very uniform and they are very straightforward. We don't want that very random and very shit. So, how to do it? Let's go into edit mode again. Oh, just click edit mode. We can also click them. Also, in edit mode, we got a tool here. If we just expand this thing a little bit so we can see it, so we got a tool here called knife tool, which is actually really useful. If you click the knife tool, it will be enabled, and as you can see. Our little arrow changed into a knife here, but I'm gonna zoom in on that. Let's just go into vertex selection and draw your thing. I'm gonna add a loop click here and it will start doing its thing. Just hold the left and move your mouse and you will be able to draw your random shape here. So I'm gonna draw it right here. Once you finish it, just click enter and it will be done. You can change it to select box again. Okay. So you can hit Alt M again and click faces by ages and that's it. Just go into object mode and reset the simulation plate and that's done. And as you can see, it is working. That's what we wanted. That's what we were looking for. Let's do it again. Let's go into edit mode. Just click, just deselect everything and hit K for knife tool and just do your thing here. Okay, just add stuff in here if you want. Hit enter and click Alt M. Faces by ages, go into object mode, plate, and move them or going down because they're separated from everything, as you can see. And that makes sense to me. So, right now, uh, if you look at these, that's looking good, but we got a problem here. Uh, you don't see it, but I they're actually intersecting with one another. So how to fix it? Let's just go into its physics settings, scroll down to under collision, just click turn on self collision and after that they will collide with itself and that's what we wanted. Just reset the animation and that's it. So plate, that's how it looks like and right click shade smooth uh, if you want. So you can add more geometry into it if you want. Like right now they can, as you can see, they're interacting with one another if you want it. Let's go into modifier and create a new subdivision modifier to make it a little bit better. Just add another one, another level of divisions. Okay. And yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for